ghosts, other ghosts, not ghosts. Uh, I'm not going to commit myself, but I uh, was never um, and never saw any ghosts. And although I heard voices um, and sounds, but that's you know it could be the wind or doors opening and closing and and. Um, um, and I was a drinker back then anyway, um, so you, <laughs> you know, you, you, you see, hear and do all sorts of things when you're intoxicated. When I first started working in Vancouver, the Vancouver office, uh, 1974, uh, later as the, year, as the year ran by into like October, September, October, I needed a place to live. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so where did I move to? To the basement of the, of the morgue, 240 East Cordova Street. And uh, back in the 30s, the place where I was living uh, was a storage place for, for bodies that came in uh, during the night. Um, and then the following morning, they would be taken up uh, onto the street level and then up in an old water run elevator to the second floor where the the fridges and the autopsy room was. So my buddy, Billy, uh, from England, who, who had come with me to Canada, we'd hitchhiked from Toronto to Vancouver. So him and I go out on this night and we get drunk, really drunk. And uh, so I invite him back to my place, <laughs> the basement of the morgue. <laughs> and it was about, I don't know, three or four o'clock in the morning and they scream, you know, uh, and Billy's on the floor and the light switches on, of course, and he said someone grabs, grabbed his arm and pulled him onto the floor. I mean, you talk to him today and, and he still stands by that story. Somebody grabbed his arm and pulled him out of the bed. Uh, but it was the scream or the shout uh, that he gave this yell, um, and, and 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 I said ran and put the light on, and of course uh, he uh, he got dressed real fast, and out the door he went, and never to come back again. But um, I've never seen one, um, or had any experience with ghosts, but they might be out there. Who knows? Who knows? Like I said, it's it's not the dead to be to be frightened of. It's the living. They're the ones you have to look out for. The living. Yeah.